Use logarithms correct to four decimal places to evaluate. So we'll need to draw this kind of a table where you have the number standard form, the log. So the first one is 7.071. This number in standard form, written in standard form, will give 7.071 times 10 raised to the power 0. The logarithm of 10 raised to the power 0 is 0. Logarithm of 7.071 is 0.8495 remember you can use logarithms from the calculator in this question it is not specified or from the four figure mathematical tables that is the numerator the denominator we have 456.3 uh, let's first deal with that Writing in standard form, 4.563 times 10 squared. So logarithm of 10 squared is 2 point, this is 2. Logarithm of 4.563 is 0 0.65, 0 0.6593. The number is being multiplied by sine of 45 degrees. So for sine of 45 degrees, you'll go directly to the logs of sine. So from the tables of logs of sine or calculator, read the logarithm of sine of 45. You don't need to write this one in standard form. That will give bar 1.8495. These two numbers, you're multiplying them, 456.3 multiplied by sine of 45. So when you're multiplying the numbers, we add their logs. So we're going to add those two. Adding them, you'll get this is 8, 8, 0, 5, and this will give 2. Having done that, this is the solution in, this is the uh, the log from the numerator and this is the log from the denominator so we are dividing so we shall take 0 0.8495 this from the uh, numerator then the solution we've got in the numerator 0 2.5088 we are dividing the two so since we are dividing we subtract the logs when you are multiplying we add the logs so subtracting this gives 7, this is 0, 4, this is 3, then this is bar 2. One more thing is remaining is now to get the cube root. When you're getting the cube root, you divide by 3. So let me do this one separately here. So we have bar 2.3407. We are dividing this one by 3. Now when you look at this, this is the characteristic. This is the mantissa. The decimal part is the mantissa. These are, the whole number part is the characteristic. It is not possible to divide this number. So you have to rewrite the numerator without changing its value. So that it is directly divisible by the denominator. This is how we are going to do it. We shall write uh, the numerator by splitting the mantissa and the characteristics. So bar 3 plus 1. You note bar 3 plus 1 is bar 2. So bar 3 plus 1 is bar 2. We are just writing it without changing the value. So 0 0.3407. By doing this, remember we are dividing the whole of this number by 3. So we can... Divide this separately, like this, say, just the same way, dividing the whole of this number by 3. Uh, so this is the same thing. We have not changed anything. We have just split the numerator part. So bar 3 divided by 3 is bar 1. Uh, plus, when you divide this, you get, this will give 0 0.44. 0.4469 so when you add by 1 plus 0 0.4469 you get by 1.4469 
four six nine. So this is what you get here. So bar one point four four six nine. One more thing is remaining is to get the antilog, not to get our answer. The antilog of bar 1 is 10 raised to a negative 1. The antilog of 0 0.4469 is 2.7, So multiplying these, you get the solution as 0 0.2798. And that is our solution.